Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to read an Excel file using Talent Open Studio. So, first of all, we have to open this Talent Open Studio, and after that, you can see these job designs here. So, first of all, we are going to create a new job for this process. Once you name this project after that you can just click on finish and it will create a new job for you. So after that to read this uh, excel file we have to create a metadata. So you can see uh, like uh, here we have a lot of options for different different files. You can see the xml, json, regex, positional, delimited file. I've already covered one video on this delimited file so if you want to watch it okay you can go into the playlist and have a look on this one. So for this tutorial, we are going to work on this Excel file. So what you have to do now, you just have to right click on this and create file Excel. Okay, you have to name this file. Okay, and just click on next. Now you have to browse for the file location. I already have one file. Okay. If I open this, okay, so you can see here it is having three sheets. Okay, so I'm going to read one one sheet, only one sheet in this tutorial, and by following same rule, you can read an other uh, other sheets also. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to read this one this worksheet so you can see here the column name and everything all the data here and what we are going to do uh, we would be reading this data and uh, print it out on the console okay so i just have to browse for this file location i will click on browse and here is my sheet Once done, you will uh, you will see these op options here, like all the sheets and everything would be presented here. From here, you can select your sheets also, and you can see their data. So it will be presented in this format. Okay. So I will click on only on this thing. And click next. Here you have to select few things like uh, you want to set heading as a column names so yes i want to do this so i will click on here and after this you can see it auto automatically automatically got selected the header and this will be row to skip so there were some additional rules are coming so once you click on this one you'd, you'd be making sure like those columns uh, those columns will uh, would be your heading so once you are satisfied with this preview you can just uh, click on next Okay, so now it will show you your metadata. These would be your columns name, and this this would be your key. You can you can define your primary key or something. So just just by checking this box, you can make this column as a primary key. So if you want to do that, you you just have to click on on these columns. Okay, and after that you can also change the type. There you can see a lot of types are here. So right now I'm going with the string type only. The length and everything so based on your requirement you can modify all these things so if you're satisfied with everything you just have to click on finish and it will create your metadata for excel so now what i have to do to read this file i am just going to drag and drop it here and it will ask me whether it's an input or output so in this case these are the input okay because we are going to read the data from this excel file so it will act as input so i'm just going to click on ok and here it is and after that to read this data on the console okay there is one component that i'm going to type it's a t log row so in the 
previous video in the file delimited also I have used this component to read the data so what it does it just print out everything on the console so same way you can write the data into some other files also means you can write the data in other excel file or in the or any text file or in the database now to link this one I have to just click on this row and after that I will go on main and I, I will link it here okay so now our connection is completed just to check the properties you can right click on here okay it will show you all the file name and stream this will be your repository Repo repository is something that we have selected you can see here it's an excel reading excel file okay so that is what we have created here so here actually we have two options one you can once one you can read from the repository and other is the built-in so once you define something it's a repository it, it will take the property type from your repository built-in is something uh, you don't have to define it okay so right now uh, just to make everything clear and you know we, we just have to follow the standard so for this thing uh, we are we are going to define our uh, metadata here and based on that thing only we are going to populate data into the into some other file or or database okay so this is what we have done here it's a property type it's a repo repository and after that we have given the file name and after that you can see the sheet list okay because we have selected only one sheet from there so it's giving only this option okay you can see this option we cannot select it because we have selected only one so uh, same thing here header first column first column repository and a schema if you just want to cross verify everything is okay so this will give you risk schema and everything you just have to click on ok and now we are ready to run our job so i just clicked on this green button here it will take some time to compile you can see the the back end of the talent is in java so everything uh, will be compiling in java mode only and here is the data okay so you can see here it populated all the records here you can see each and every record on the console that is what we expected so that's how we can read the data from the excel file okay thanks for watching this video